is a test of a wood boiler I've made. So we've got two galvanised iron pipes running through there to the fire. A heavy duty 44 gallon drum, which used to have jet fuel in it, so I'm very careful cutting that. Uh, we've got some copper running around. We have a steam valve just in case it uh, flashes within the tank and pro tip point the steam valve toward the, uh, the flue. And so the hot cold water comes in the bottom there, runs up here into a hot water service uh, that's a heat exchanger style. So there's another tank within the tank. Uh, and then it runs out of the heat exchanger and into a header tank so that the red red lines are open to the atmosphere so it's impossible for pressure to build up. And then it runs back down this pipe that's just roughly curled at the moment and there's a hot water uh, circulation pump just running it through. In the top of that tank there's a system to let water in to top up the tank which is coming off there and then basically the tank then becomes the water inlet for this instant hot water service. So anyway we're going to just just a rough cobble together to see how many turns and things I really need on the uh, on the flue because it's always a compromise between uh, getting enough heat in there and also creating creosote. So anyway this is just the the test, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, it's a weird looking contraption, but uh, I'm hoping to cut down on my gas usage, but also really have that 315 litres of hot water, which then I can use to pump through uh, into a, an outdoor uh, bath, which will be pleasant, and uh, and also use the, the red non-potable heating lines to run through a hydronic heater inside the, uh, the little shipping container gatehouse. That's the plan. I'll, uh, I'll do a proper video on this when I've actually got it working and I know, know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.